My name is Eric Waterman. I'm the CEO of Impact. At the uh, Ironworker International Convention back in August of this year in Chicago, the delegates approved that Impact be mandated in all local collective bargaining agreements, both for outside locals and for the shops. So Impact is now an integral part of the international union by the Constitution itself. The change at the convention will enable Impact to continue to expand its pro programs and services. It stabilizes the funding for the, for the future and, again, will enable us to continue to grow both our, our products and our services to help meet President Wise's goal of doubling our market share. By, by the action of the convention, it also, of course, brought the Canadian locals on board to Impact, and we had our first Impact Regional Advisory Board meeting in Vancouver recently, very well attended by both labor and management, very exciting. It's a, a whole new uh, day up there in Canada, and we look forward to hiring a regional director for Canada and developing programs, Impact programs specifically designed to help the Canadian locals and shops uh, double their market share. Some of the Canadian issues that I think we'll have to address first, and, and we have to work with our Canadian locals and district councils to develop these programs so we're sure that they meet their needs. Number one was the issue of north-south mobility, making it easier for iron workers to travel both up to Canada or down to the United States to meeting fluctuating manpower demands. But also I think our mobile training trailers, bringing our training programs up to Canada, and uh, again, getting a regional advisory board set up so that labor and management in Canada can work on the issues that they think are the most important. President Wise has two main missions coming out of the convention, and one, as I mentioned, was doubling market share. But secondly, and just as important, is what he calls the year of zero. President Wise's vision is to have a, a calendar year go by where not one iron worker is killed on the job. Impact funds the, both the training department and the safety department, so we will be very integrally involved with meeting that goal of making sure that every iron worker that goes to work that morning comes home safe and sound to his or her family that night. Our sixth annual meeting is coming up next January uh, in Las Vegas, and that meeting has grown over the years. We have virtually equal numbers of contractors and customers as well as iron workers from across North America. The main goal of the meeting is to sit together and discuss not only the problems we face in our industry, but to develop solutions to those problems. And we feel by bringing all our contractors, iron workers, and our customers together, that's the right combination to achieve that. As far as the future goes with Impact, I think the sky is the limit. In fact, that's the theme of our annual meeting coming up next year in Las Vegas. We think the synergy brought by iron workers, our contractors, and our customers working together, the sky truly is the limit. There's no problem we can't overcome, and we've seen that over the last eight and a half years with impact. There's virtually no problem we can't solve when we work together.